Hello everybody and an urgent message that you must come to this year's Byline Festival this August in Pippingford Park. Why? Because last year, both at the festival and in New York, we brought together a group of journalists including Cowell Cadwallader, James Patrick, David Cowell, who were looking at three things. Cambridge Analytica, Leave EU overspending and Russian influence of both Brexit and Trump. Now we have new revelations. We have whistleblowers galore telling you evidence, stunning evidence this year, which has come to light. For starters, we've got Chris Wiley, the Cambridge Analytica whistleblower, who, thanks to Cal Cadwallader, came forward three months ago and began to expose the depth of online data trolling, data control, propaganda, and the access Facebook had to your personal data. We'll also have Samir Sani. Samir was one of the key whistleblowers about collusion between the Vote Leave campaign and subgroups like Believe. And we'll have more information on the impact of Russia. In fact, as I speak, Carolyn Cadwallader and myself have just broken a story about an alleged Russian gold mine deal with Alan Banks and Andy Wigmore. So we'll have more on that more whistleblowers and I think this summer, this August, will be a watershed of all this information we've talked about lurking around about Brexit, Trump and Putin. Not only will we have people from the UK, great pioneering investigators like Carol Cadwallader or James Patrick whose book Alternative War saw this a year ago, we're also flying in important people from the US. Caroline Orr has been at the front of the analysis of online collusion and manipulation over Trump. We'll also have Sarah Kenzia, the pioneering and head of the curve author who's understood Trumpocracy and its origins in authoritarianism. So everybody who is anybody in the Trump-Russia Brexit scandal will be there and you'll be at the front line of this information war against foreign influence and foreign oligarchs. So come along in August, prepare to be shocked prepared to be stunned, but more than anything, be prepared to do something about this evidence of foreign interference in both the Trump campaign and in the Brexit movement.